Shout out to everyone who's back once again. Um, yeah, without further ado, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be reacting to Hooks Gunfire. Um, came out a couple of months ago uh, from an artist called Hooks, obviously from Western Sydney, Toon Gabby to be more precise. Um, I think this is his second track um, of 2019 or just his career in general. You know what I mean? He's got another one coming out, I'm pretty sure, assuming. Anyways, so yeah, go round up, check it out if you like this. And without further ado, let's go, baby. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gunfire, second 
second not album second single um yeah go check it out you know what i mean if you haven't seen it already pretty sure just hit over 100k not too long ago um you know up and coming artists from western sydney polynesian australian i'm assuming um and yeah you know what i mean give it another platform to get some numbers up give it a geese and that's what it is you know what i mean Anyways, I'm thinking about going through again to try to break some of this. <laughs> now, if you don't like these, the long ass ones, then you know, you click off now. But if not, I don't know, maybe I'll go back. I think, you know what, fuck it. I'll just, I'll just do like this. I'm gonna rewatch it and see, um, you know, if there's anything I can talk more in depth with. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This guy is always on the phone. Because <laughs> if you go through out the whole video, there are a lot of frames, he's always on the phone. They this through also, but it's just crap. <laughs> but at the same time, it goes with the lyrics, you know what I mean? Trap phone, everything, got the cars, you know, got the, what's the word, um, luxury items or luxury clothing. Luxury clothing or brand clothing, and you got the, you know, the lifestyle, this and that. Even where our um, lyrics when he's talking about, you know, Pulling out money um, with that girl and everything, you know, on the beach, on the boats, jet skis. It's, does, it's not free, you know what I mean? It doesn't cost, it costs stuff. So, like this, whether it's just like it was just a catchy verse that it came up with or whether he was really taking shots at people. And cause he was a new artist back then, or he still is, whether or not he like, was seeing what's going on, he was like, you know what? I got something to say, you know what I mean? Who knows, who knows, I don't know. But um, yeah, what's he saying? Them men that want it or something, they don't see God fire. They know he's official, like he's legit. Obviously a lot of people are like, we know you don't have to break it down, but I just break it down for people that don't know anyways. on top whether in his within his boys or within his area or I don't know so they they're trying to knock him off someone's trying to take his spot knock him off spot by his score on his block where's that two guys <laughs> Put him on shelf. I feel like he's saying like you know he's taking his you know his future, but within the trap game, he get he does his own moves and he puts on him and his. He doesn't obviously it's sort of contradictory because he'd have to get from someone. There's always someone above you, you know what I mean. Um, but to a degree, I, I feel like he's saying he's independent for entertainment purposes within the the song. He's independent. He gets his own stuff, makes his own moves. There's no one really above him that can tell him what he can and can't do and put him on shelf, you know, pretty much cut his bread off, pretty much. He dictates the way, you know, the choices he makes in life and the way, like, he chooses that. He dictates it, not, not anyone else, you know what I mean? Whether or not he eats or gets money, is what I'm trying to say. Heard it was just so chill. Well, so I think one of the reasons why I really like this because one of the boys will keep just saying it like um, marshmallow on the campfire. <laughs> it sounded like fucking crack it up, but then the fuck that kind of man. If you watch this, right after you got stuck in our heads, and then we all just 
from there just manifested and it was like it wasn't not that we're laughing but it was like an inhale stroke like and then when you bring in all the not even just hooks but f's one four and then hp pistol peak you know they all have those one lines or you know they all have those main lines and then we just always kept bringing them up whenever we can you know we just um incorporate it into whatever we're talking about discussion and that was like the punch lines or that was like you know that was the thing anyways <laughs> first listen to this honestly when i first i was thinking he was like hard out speaking about football as in like he'll pick you up and put you on your head and crack your head but then when i listened to it more it was like 12 and like everyone in pretty sure america they call 12 cops so the cops pick you up they interrogate you and then you crack like humpty dumpty if you didn't if you didn't really get all that so and what i mean by crack is you know, under pressure, you buckle, and then you start, you know, you start telling them everything, start telling them everyone, start writing down on, that's, yeah. I didn't really pick that up till later. First I was thinking, because before there was like football reference. So I was like, oh yeah, for one of the boys, or he'll pick you up. And, and then later on, I was like, oh, it goes a bit more deeper than that, anyways. Bit of fights when I run out. She never come out for me, but she run out. She said, this used to bring his last 50. It's only like I bring a rap when I come out. That's a pretty bad line, you know. Because there are some people, you know, that be like just the average person when they trying to get a girl, you know, 50, that's decent money, you know, 50, 100 bucks to go on a date. But then there's others where it's just a whole nother level where it's just like, God, how are you gonna compete, man? Like, you don't need money to compete, but you know what I mean? Yeah, you can just do so much more, you know. You can. <laughs> Money, money can buy a lot with money, is what I'm pretty trying to say. Money is power. Sydney, there's a lot of uh, people that are like this, like should we wear shorts, go to concerts, wear like a bag, these little boys glasses, earrings, they'd be tatted up, you know what I mean? That's those concert goers, you know what I mean? And then there's like, there's all different styles, but I mean, yeah, that's that style. You know, they might have those white shorts or white pants, but if generally you've gone to concert, you put on shorts, but I mean. <laughs> Like I said, a lot of ones, the incorporation of just the lingo and all that. But I'm, what I'm talking about in this one is like the clothing. So like the side bags or the bum bags is what I think everyone originally called it. Uh, but now it's just side bags now. Um, I feel like Australia, like within Sydney, West Sydney, they're like the only ones that really hard out, wear it hard out and um, UK people. I know if in America, they called it my like, fan, but that's not gay ass. Like I see a little bit now here and there, but I'm um, like, you know, not as much as, um, you know, you go to Western Sydney, you see everyone where, or you know, you go to a club within Western Sydney where a lot of like islands are, uh, islands are, a lot of islanders are, or Polynesians, or a lot of like Middle Eastern people, and you see like, you know, a lot of people with the side bags and all that. Um, yeah. I see a lot of people in New Zealand with them now, you know what I mean? A lot, I heard a lot of people say it's because a lot of deportees, when they go there, they bring that style there, and then a lot of, People when they come to Australia for holidays and then you know they just pick up the style and then when they go back then you know they incorporate it into what they do over there. Anyways. Oh yeah, obviously with the you know with how the um, hip hop 
you know, drill, rap, trap, scene is at the moment within Australia, you know what I mean, within the past 18 months. Obviously that trend or that style has spread, you know, all across. Obviously there would have been people already like wearing it, but not as much as I believe that there is now, you know what I mean? You probably got every like 14 year old that likes hip hop, that probably dresses, you know, hat like this, some trackies, a Nike tracksuit or hoodie, got some maxis or got some TNs and a side bag, you know what I mean? <laughs> And then they got like the little mullet or the little, you know, like a ratty or, or a mid plat. Uh. Anyways, I'll just stop it there because I'm pretty sure it's the same. Anyways, I like this song because it's so chill, like I said before, the vibes, the visuals are something different. Um, and yeah, I reckon his quality was mad for like his second song, even his first song, you know what I mean? His first song pretty much blew up, came out of nowhere. His socials, I don't, I don't even think he had socials, you know what I mean? He only had just started his socials from there, what I mean? Socials like certain, so social media accounts. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm trying to like push the pace on this. I'm going to try to push the pace on most of my videos, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to everyone who's been showing me love. Shout out to all the haters, because inadvertently you're like giving me pointers, you know what I mean? I'm trying to take it as constructive criticism and work on you know the faults here and there um but yeah shout out to everyone who's, who's um giving me love and showing me love. uh without further ado you know what i mean this was hooks gunfire go run it up go check him out this day and other and yeah shout out to everyone putting on work for the culture the skull baby <laughs> hey. Philly one four.